Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kotor 1, Modded Edition. Uh, again, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Really helps a lot, and let's continue. Mikasa 19. So... We're at Yavin 4 and now we're on Manan, Manan and I'm very high level because of all the experience I gained so I just wanted to open up the Genoa Radan, Genoa Radan quest and then I will go to Koriban maybe I'll stop it and to win before, before that but let's see Ah, I need to talk to Joanny, I think. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? <coughs> what do you know about this world? Manan is a water-rich world, as you may have been able to tell. With the exception of this auto city, there is no land on the world protruding above sea level. The dominant indigenous race of the world are the Selkath, a semi-aquatic bipedal species. They are known to be very dreary, and strong proponents of the power of law above all else. The extremist policies of the Sith seem to appeal to them. They have declared themselves neutral in this conflict between the Republic and the Sith. The Sith team seems to have all the advantages. The Selketh seek to preserve their independence by maintaining a stranglehold on the one unique resource of their world, the vulnerary liquid Koto, the most powerful curative in the galaxy. As the only world in the galaxy that produces Koto, they have positioned themselves between the Sith and the Republic, supplying both sides with the medicine equally. They hope in this way to make themselves too valuable to both to be conquered. As a last resort, they have made it clear to both sides that any attempt to attack their world will force them to destroy the Kolto supply entirely. Any violation by either the Republic or the Sith of their sacrosanct laws incurs severe Kolto export restrictions on the violating government. Both the Republic and the Sith try to keep the Selkath happy and give them no cause to complain. But I wonder how the Sith can take this affront to their power in stride. Many people speak highly of the integrity of the Selkath people, but from what little I have seen of them, they're disgusting little fish people. But I suppose I have too high standards. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? What happened after your father died? After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single non-human woman, living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Taras. It was not easy for her. What happened? When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. But over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us and had to start borrowing from the exchange. A band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, but she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. Sure, there was a doctor. She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Taras. You were enslaved? They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with 
no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what this is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. How could the Jedi stand for that? The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world, freeing those of us in prison there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. What was the dream? I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. And we both know what has happened since then. Johnny. I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream, rather than become what I hated. Someday, I may make it up to you. But for now, let us keep on the task at hand. Okay, so... You have learned that after her father died, Joanna has been sold into slavery. When the Jedi came to Taris, they freed her and the other, and the other slaves. As soon as she was able, she left to find the Jedi and train with them. That, that is brought her to Tantooine. She may have yet have stories to tell. Yet have stories to tell. Perhaps you should ask her later. to trigger another scenario of her. Just need to get past by this part. I think. Or this part. Yeah, trigger it. This is how to trigger. What the hell is your kind doing here? Bad enough I have to deal with all these other idiots, but now there's a stinking Cathar on this world too? I have as much right to be here as you do, sir. Just ignore him, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, do like the Jedi tells you and back off. Your people are pathetic. It's no wonder we crushed your world so easily. What? What do you know about my world? I know enough that... Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar somehow. What? You? Do you two know each other? This doesn't concern you, Jedi trash. Hmm. Now where could I have... No, he's dead and she likely is too. I... What are you talking about? Maybe I was wrong. Still, I think a specimen like you would be a nice addition to my collection. So, what would it take, Jedi, for you to sell your pet here to me? She is her own person. Now don't be so selfish. We both know Cathair aren't real people anyway. The females make amusing pets, but the males should be put down like the animals they are. I remember one time on Taurus. What? What did you say? You were on Taurus. What did you do on Taurus, you scum? Put one of you down like the animals you are. So easy. Then I saw one of the females on the auction block. <sighs> but those darn Jedi. It was you. What? Me? Oh. Oh, now I recognize where I've seen that face before. You were the little Cathair I was going to purchase. But those Jedi came and stole my pet away from me. What an asshole. What are you talking about? When I was fighting with the Mandalorians against the Cathair, I developed an appreciation for these creatures. They make excellent servants if properly trained. You Jedi act all prim and proper, but inside you must feel the same way I do about the lesser, non-human species. The Sith at least let their feelings... You're a non-human! You... The whole world... 
calm now. Will you let your pet go? I'm sure we can come up with a price we both think is fair. Show me the money. <laughs> she is not for sale. And I will see you dead for what you have done to my people. Uh, hold on a second. D don't be hasty. There is no emotion. There is peace. I, I will remain calm. I am a Jedi now. My lust for vengeance must be curbed. Yes, yes. Say no to the dark side, but I will have you yet. Ha! What an asshole. Let's fix this. Well, is it Johnny? Your plan? Threat from Zor. Johnny ran into being named Zor, who bears a race, a special grudge. He was a member of the fleet that attacked and destroyed their homeworld, Kaffa, but was crippled during that fight. He was seen tried to take out his pain and all the Kaffa he can find. When Johnny had been sold into slavery for her parent, that Zor was the one who tried to purchase her. Raven's army stopped him that time, but he has not forgotten her. He was sworn to get his revenge upon her and her people, and you don't know when or where he struck next. Johnny fought loss for his blood. Interesting. My Cathar blood seethes at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still when I think about it, but, but I will not give in to the dark side either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us. Me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. My Cathar. He okay. So let's continue. Time to play some Pazak. Let's save. 500 credits. Nice. Let's play some Pazak. For all the money in the world. I have all the money. I have all the power in the world. Mikasa, you can do it. Stand. Yes. Sure, I play another game. Let's win all the money I can get. Take that. Stand. 
One get a two, okay. Another game. I got 85,000 credits. Loaded with cash. Damn it! Took a chance, huh? Yeah, baby! Give me all your money. Another game of Pazak. Just want to make sure that I have all the money, enough money to buy everything I need. Show more Pazak. Nice, pure Pazak. Got lucky this time. One more game. Minus two card, take the win. Stand. Won't you stand by me? Won't you stand by me? Oh, darling. Stand by me. How much money do you have, man? Can you do this all day? Not really, but I want all the money. I want all the cash. I'm rich and I'm damn sexy. 
Okay, now we play for cards. We run out of money. Money. Let's just win this game and continue. What I want to do in Manan is only to unlock the Gino Aradan quest. Gino Aradan quest. So I can finish it before. You will see, but. I want to unlock it so I don't have to go back and forth between all the planets and I can get it out of the way and, and you get some pretty nice uh, weapons and credits if, if this, this uh, kind of quest actually win this no no okay let's play again luckily it wasn't for money this time Fuck you. Nice. One more, and I'll finish with this. Thank for the credits, sucker. Don't worry, fire the rules, the docking fee, let's try persuade. Very well. Let's pay the docking fee. I got enough money as it is. Yeah, almost nine Obey the laws here on Manan, human. Almost ninety thousand credits. Okay, now I want to go this way. the east center your precious republic's days are numbered it won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself save your empty threats Sith scum Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds now with the entire republic fleet waiting for him you're a fool when the Sith descend on Coruscant our numbers will block out the sun itself the galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Huh. Okay, let's check the shop. How much for all this stuff, Tybark? Thanks, Tybark. Let's see what you have for sale. Okay. Do I have anything good? Not really. Piston, combat sensors, plus two dexterity. Stabilizer, mind affecting, plus two save. That's that's okay. Let's buy this. 
Blade mask. And the bed. Let's buy the plus 3 constitution and give it to Zalba. Defense stun ray. What kind of visor do I, uh, I have? Plus 5 awareness. Lecticon. I need to talk to this guy. But before I do that, let's check the thief shop. All the shops. Hey, this street is for Sith only. You got to oh, fuck off. to walk down this street. This is a public street. You can have your credit when you take it from my cold dead hand. You talk big, but remember what we did to Taris. Maybe you're next on our list. Oh, fuck off. You got any armor plating for my spook bike? <laughs> I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish are a strange breed. <laughs> Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm Mikasa Ackerman. <laughs> Do you have any Pazak cards? I'd like to see your inventory. Droid plating level 3, 11. That's great. That's nice. Uh, I'll give it to HK. Do you have anything else to sell? Demolition. Weapon focus. Let's buy this one. Security computer use. Gravity. The gate is slow. That's nice. Let's go talk to the guy. This guy! But I have to talk to him alone. That's a rather strange greeting. What are you talking about? Who are you? Sunny Vec gave me this message to see you. Secret Society of Bounty Hunters. I've never heard of you. If you ever have, we are shadow, darkness and night. We are less than a whisper for a thought. We have managed to keep our existence a secret far long than most could ever imagine. Okay. I understand. I will preserve the secrecy of your order. How does anybody hire you if nobody knows who you exist? What does that have to do with me? Killing Kalo Nord, you've shown you have great potential. The Gino Order could use someone like you, if you're willing, and your work could be great aid to the Republic. How can innocent people help the Republic? Our victims are far from innocent. Only to contact with the target's death suits or get the goals. Okay. 
What would I want to join now? Huh? Reward the agents very very well. Okay. What do I need to do? Target to be eliminated. I'm ready to prove myself worthy of General Arada. Understand, who is the target? Grand Slaver named Zulan or Rodian anti-republic terrorist named Lorgal. Tell me about Zulan. Tell me about Lorgan. Is there anything else? Okay. So actually, I installed a mod that make me make me do the Gino Aradan quest in light side because usually it's uh, it's it give you dark side points. So I want to see if this really works. This mod. Let's check this out. First, I need to go to the Republic. To the Republic uh, quarters, embassy. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wong. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Perhaps you can help me with it. Oh, of course. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. Seek a star map. The remnant of, remnant of an ancient and forgotten race. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Let's really persuade. Come on, tell me. No, no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. What do you want me to do? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Foraxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we'd not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. What is this recording? It's intelligence information about Sith activities on Manan, as well as some oceanographic reports on the local marine life. What do you want me to do? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. How do I get inside the Sith base? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Interrogating the prison sounds good. Is that another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Description, the pass code sounds good. Yeah, I like, I like readers and math, math problems. Good. That's There's good. a very intelligent and skilled individual who can crack the matrices of a Sith encryption system. But there is one last method you should know about in case all other options fail. The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land. 
then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Ah, I think it's a problem. I was really overpowered. Find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Script the passcode. Good choice. We've been working at that for a while, but it's been too difficult so far. Maybe you'll have better luck. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Look at my blasters, come on. Look at this. So good. Okay, I need to kill this guy. Lorgal. Let's save and let's see if I can do this light side way. Liberator, you're nothing but a murderer. Killing a million people from mighty star cruiser and you're a warrior. Kill a hundred with thermal detonator and you are a terrorist. It's not the same, you kill civilians and children. I don't want to kill you, Lorgal, but there are people out here who do. People who can get in here. Do the energy shit. Nobody can touch me. I've got better things to do. Okay, I wonder what I can do to him. Slice the computer, reprogram cage to kill. I don't want to kill him. What can I do? Let's see. Logral. You've been infected to kill a Rodian named Logral. He's currently being held as prisoner in the public base of Manan. Horas told you. Make it look like an accident. Hmm. So you're the one roll he's a sip, but it Well, if it I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer The Hoopa Voltenia The Hoopa Voltenia Okay, let's just kill him. I don't have patience for this. Game dark side. That's f unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's get back to Ulas. I want to unlock all the Geno Ardan assassination quests. Maybe the rest I can do in light side. Maybe this one I have to do dark side. Logral is dead. Okay, I get a verbal blank. Tell me about Vaughn. Tell me about Rulan. Tell me about Ifa. Okay, so get a Vavo Blade and get all the general Radan quests. So now that I've got this covered, let's take Joanne and HK. Let's keep HK the better armor. 36 armor, very nice. Killing machine of this blaster. 
Now let's teleport back to the Ebenok. Maybe I will trigger the, jo the journey quest. And I did. There she is. Get her, man. But remember, don't kill her. Let's do some droid flame flower. Johnny, you can do the choke one. And I will kill this guard. What is that? <laughs> you seem to have defeated me, get there, worm. But I'll have the last laugh in the end. What do you mean? Don't listen to him. <laughs> you may have killed me today, but I had the pleasure of killing off your species. Not everyone who fought alongside the Mandalorians did it for their stupid concept of honor. <clears throat> Some of us just did it for the pleasure. The pleasure of seeing your world burn. You, you animal, you wretch. <laughs> but I'm beyond your petty vengeance now, girl. You can never have your revenge. Do not give in to the dark side, Johnny. I will not give him the satisfaction of seeing me give in to the dark side. Worm, I killed your people on Cather in the sky. <clears throat> on the ground. In their homes. I hunted them down like the animals they were. <laughs> Just to see them burn. But the treacherous beasts fought back and left me with injuries that meant I could never fight again. <clears throat> So they thought. Stop trying to provoke him. No, I will not give it to him. I ended up in the lower city of Taurus, and what did I find? <laughs> A few of those stinking beasts living there. The male was easy enough to best. I didn't know what happened to them after I killed the mayor. <coughs> Until I saw this cursed woman on the auction block. But then the Jedi came and ruined everything before I could have my revenge. <coughs> you, you killed my father. You killed my people. You, you treat us like animals. You deserve to die. Don't do it, Tony. Do not give in, Johnny. You are stronger than this. Give in and embrace your hate. You are no better than me. You are nothing. I... 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 Kill him now. Do it! Do not do it, Johnny. Uh, help me, please. Do not let me give in to my anger again. There is no emotion. There is peace. I will not do this. He may die, but it will not be out of my vengeance. You coward! You weak! Just die already! Yeah, he gave a lot of experience. Let's see what he has. Ah! Nothing good. That man was a beast! A monster! I am glad the galaxy is now rid of him, so he may not harm others again. I do regret, though, that he did not die by my hand. What you did was best. I know. What must I always feel the lure of the dark side? It was for the best. I am glad that you stood by my side during this. We should continue our journeys now. No reason for staying here for this. Okay. Now that I got that out of the way, let's go to Kuriban. Because I want to redeem your Furuban. And see her on the twin before 
before it uh, spoiler alert will be destroyed. Ah, and I want uh, better robes in early in the game. Uh, how do you call these robes? Uh, uh, something you need to be light sided for. Very good robes. Wonder how they improve it in, in this mod. Okay, so let's go to Kuriban. Okay, great. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. There are some who believe Korriban is the birthplace of the Sith. This planet is an evil place. There are secrets here best left uncovered. It looked like Star Map was in some sort of cave. During the vision, I felt cold and trapped. Almost as if I was buried alive. It felt... it felt like we were in some kind of tomb. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. I wonder if I can you. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Most of the Dark Jedi would only know me by name, but there are a few among them who might recognize my face. For the safety of our mission, I must remain on the Ebon Hawk while we are on this planet. How can I help? Okay, Johnny. So let's take HK and maybe let's take where should I take Candles? Calf? Let's take off. Ah, I need calf for Dusty. For his son, yeah. Okay. Another Jedi? How do you know a Jedi? What you're wearing? So I Okay. Get away, okay. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? I'm no master, yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority. True. This is a lie. It's the only passion. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You! Jedi! You're looking to get into the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Advisement. 
evisceration works well, electrocution and blunt trauma ha. also work well. I love him. Understand? I love Rich King. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning, yes. It's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Why are you asking me? Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you. Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now, a decision, please. Let them go. That's my decision. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? My persuasion skills. <laughs> Killing them is wrong. You know that. The end worth your time. Killing them is wrong. You know that. <laughs> Now that has to be the funniest thing I've heard all day. Well, fine. Whoever you are, since you've proven such a good sport, the boys can run off. I'm sure your little lesson will give them something to chew on. Yeah, some light side. That's what I needed. Okay, I've got three more levels. So I need to pick carefully what force powers do I use. I got this one and got two more. This is the highest, this is the highest, this is the highest, this is the highest. Okay, I will see when I level up. Still got some time for that. Welcome to Korriban, let's sort merchandise, let's sort connections. I need weapons. Show me your merchandise, okay. Calf blade, Valvo blade, Castle's fit. This used to be the one of the best guns. Let's buy this. Iron, physical, medium repeating, heavy blaster. Got already from Yavin for all the best items. I'm just here on one of Zerka's transports. I don't have no business with you. Safe. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Great. Just what we needed. Some punks to come steal our lunch credits. <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers, to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. Just try me. think of that, hmm? I think that's a lot of responsibility for simple scum like you. How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Please don't hurt me, I don't want to fight. Be careful, you might be in more trouble than I can handle. If you really want to fight, just make the first move or be your last. Persuade. Uh, okay. These two Mandalorians are out in the woods. Go on. One of them collapses. He doesn't seem to be breathing and his eyes are glazed. The other Mandalorian takes out his communicator and contacts his commander. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! He gasps. My partner has collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, the commander responds, Calm down. I can help. And then? First, let's make sure your partner is dead. There's a silence. Then a blaster shot is out. Back on the computer. The Madonna says, okay, now what? <laughs> Kid, maybe you should try juggling next time. Ha! <laughs> Too funny. 
<laughs> Good one. Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. Give me All the right salute. Then, friend. You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet again. Perhaps. Let's check the other shop. Well, this is a Sith colony. They're the law here. I'm here only to protect Zerka's interests. I suppose you've heard about the destruction of Taurus, yes? Awful business, that. Zerka lost a fortune there. Not that the Sith care. What does Zerka have been in Korriban? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. I must say, Zerka is in need of droids right now. That's a mighty fine looking one you have there. Objection. <laughs> this unit is not for sale, meatbag. Uh, yes, of course. No offense meant. <laughs> Touchy, isn't it? This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Zeka works with the Sith? Well, why not? This is Sith space now, and the company has to survive regardless of who is in charge. The Republic, the Sith, eh, the economy has to keep going. Now, was there anything else? True, true. Can I see what you have to offer? You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. Okay, let's see. Let's buy some of these ones. Okay, reinforced. Mm, Silica. Uh, calf got Ooh Wow Door plus armored helmet Armor proficiency medium Attack plus two defense three skill awareness and demolition Fet's helmet is the highly modified helmet of the Mandalorian origin origin owned by his father Django Fet acquired his helmet after his father ultimately demise although the helmet was already well equipped. Boba made his own personal. Oh, I have to buy this. Created from the door plus, this helmet is capable of withstanding most small laser, laser bursts and sharpener. It features an external targeting range finder capable of striking 30 targets. The helmet also contains a fire. a fire controlled computer allowing FETs to control weapons, sensors. And the jetpack with verbal communicators. The visor also con contains a macro binocular vi via piece with an infrared scanner allowing FET to have Chris. Why oh, I have to buy this? Plus six to demolition. Let's buy this also in case I need some de demolition skill. Let's see if got. Let's buy this also. Ah, oh, oops, I didn't need to buy that. Sip regenerator. Let's buy this one. Okay, let's try to put this on. Plus two attack. Plus three defense. Demolition. Wow! So cool, man! Yo! I'm looking so good! Wow, look at that! That's great! And I've got 30 armor. Wow! So if I use this and this, 37. Plus 36 attack, wow, nice, so cool. Okay, this is a good place to stop. Let's save. Wow, that mod is really something. Cast a 20. Thank you very much for watching, look at this. Uh, see you in the next time. Bye-bye.